bata-bata paano ka ginawa. Ako po si Angel Rivero at kasama ko ngayon si Doktora Margaret Limson. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Doc. Good morning, Angel. Doc, marami po talaga tayong mga tanong whenever it comes to this field. Uh, from Facebook itself, marami silang mga sinesend na questions. So, I'm gonna go straight at uh, asking you these. Uh, first po, if someone is asking, saan po nakukuha ang endometriotic cyst? Oh, so, endometriotic cyst po, no? Uh, it's like a blood cyst. Uh, it's blood cyst. It's a chocolate cyst. No? That's how we refer it to Chocolate, 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 chocolate because of the, it's like old blood that's collected in the ovary. Okay. So every month po nagreregla ang babae mm -hmm. and the lining kumakapal po yan kasi she shed mm -hmm. in the time of the month no, yes. sa regla. And then nilipis na naman ho mm -hmm. tapos kakapal na naman po. Now generally the blood will just really flow from the vagina mm -hmm. manifest as uh, menses. But to some extent po meron pong bumabalik to the tubes. Now all women will have this. No, retrograde menses. Bumabalik ko talaga. But there are women who are genetically and immunologically susceptible to endometriosis. Okay. So it's that, parang there's this innate pain. Mm -hmm. Yung mga babae pong hindi mag-endometriosis, mawawala lang po yung dugo doon. Magre-resorb lang po yung blood. Oh, really? Yes. Now, the ovary is the part of the genital tract of the females na closest to the fallopian tube. So pag bumalik po yun, yan po yung site na pinakamalapit and makes it the most common site of an endometriotic implant. I see. And then everywhere else in the pelvis, pwede huyan. The second most common site is the cul-de-sac. It's like this uh, convergence between the back of the uterus and near the bowels. Oh. That is the second most common site. And this may manifest as uh, sometimes patients will complain of pain during menses kasi may natatamaan ho doon. I see. And anywhere else in the pelvis, pwede huyan sa appendix. Some would even have uh, manifestations of endometriosis in the lungs. There have been case reports. So it can spread anywhere. That's no. so bizarre. But how does it get to the other organs, Doc? The, the spread, no? There mm. can be vascular spread. And mm. So let's say that same lining that can proliferate during menses, no? Proliferate po yan, mamamaga po yan bago siya shed. Mm -hmm. So in that same site na may implant po, mamamaga din po yan. Nagko-collect ng blood. I see. And then every month it's going to be like that until the cyst grows and becomes larger. Hindi siya nabubulok sa loob Hindi no? Ho, no? So, yun po. So, that's why there is pain because meron pong inflammation outside of the uterus. So, ah. that's why patients with endometriosis no? and endometriotic cysts will usually complain of uh, significant pain during menses. I see. I find it bizarre, Doc, that the, the menses will go back up. I mean, isn't that against gravity? I no. Mean, why uh, does it go well, that way? Well, the uterus contracts to some extent. So, meron ho talagang backflow. That's the most common theory, no? but uh, a lot of uh, interplaying factors. I said, no, immune, immunology, genetic susceptibility, mm -hmm. these are some. So Okay. So, having said that, uh, what is the impact of endometriosis and the endometriotic cysts on fertility? on fertility? Oh, okay. So, you have an endometrioma or an endometriotic cyst. So, this may inhibit uh, uh, the growth of a, of a follicle in the egg, okay? And, like I said, there is some uh, inflammation around that area. So, Hi. the egg release and the capture of mm. the of the flo of the egg by the fallopian tube uh, it becomes impaired and uh, in itself no it has been found in very many in, in many studies that having endometriosis in itself can de decrease your ovarian reserve so parang meron na talaga siyang injury just by having the disease itself oh my yes and then us doing surgery for it will further decrease the the Ovarian reserve. So you talked about ovarian age, yes. like the AMH, no? Yes. So that's very important when we talk about fertility. Let's say you have a 32-year-old lady who has bilateral endometriotic cyst. <laughs> then a 32-year-old girl, good prognosis. No? Age is the number one prognostic factor for fertility. But um, we have a 32-year-old with endometriotic cyst. Then we don't think that her ovarian age is just 32. Mm -hmm. It may be what? Maybe something comparable to a 38 year old or a 40 year old. As girl. her ovarian age. Yes. Okay. I see. So that's ovarian reserve. Parang okay. That's how we see it. So compromised. Uh, we think patients with endometriosis, uh, there is a compromise of ovarian reserve. Mm -hmm. Also, the, 
there is some anatomic distortion Ay. inside, no? There's a lot of inflammation, so namamaga po, meron pong adhesions na nagpo-form. So we do see patients with blocked tubes because of the endometriosis. Rock and roll na yun! Yes. Wow! So that is a very difficult disease to have. You have uh -huh. pain, and then possibly endometriosis. And when we see these patients, it has to be clear to us kung anong goals namin. Mm -hmm. Because if we try to control pain, we can use hormonal treatment. We can use pills, mm -hmm. no, continuous progesterone. But it means that during that time we're treating them for pain, yeah. they cannot get pregnant. Right. And let's say there's a significant uh, size of ovarian cyst. Um, we get a lot of patients already underwent surgery. Mm. So, diminished palalo yung ovarian reserve. Oh, nga. The endometriosis itself, then the surgery, which is usually cystectomy, <laughs> diminished ba yung ovarian reserve. Man. So, right. it becomes a problem. We see patients uh, who are young, uh, recurrent cysts, no? Recurrent, bumabalik ko yan eh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, very, that's uh, Yes, and then fertility becomes a concern at that point then. Mm, it's, it's a very difficult condition to have. Okay. Is, is your risk for having endometriosis higher if you have it, if your mother has it? Yes, I think so. Yes. So, may so factor din na yes. genetic. Okay, okay, sige dok. Ngayon, may isa pa po tayong question mula sa isang viewer na mula pa sa Canada. Mm. All the way. And she said that she is 36 years old and she has had two failed IUI since 2017 and I guess she wants to explore what her other options can be. Well, it will depend on what on the problem case. is. Yes. Oh, so oh. she underwent IUI already. Is there a significant meal factor mm -hmm. or Yeah. Well, 36 years old, no. That's uh we put that a bit at the advanced reproductive age, no. So we investigate that as well. Mm -hmm. So it will depend uh we'll have to have a thorough consultation to find out more details regarding her case. Kailangan mong pumunta dito. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically that, no? And generally, if you're at the level of IUI, but largely dependent on the cost of the subfertility of the couple, yes, doc. then we progress, no? we try maybe about three to six cycles. And then after that, if not successful, mm -hmm. the next level of treatment will be IVF. Wow. It sounds like a very emotional journey doc because we have hopeful parents and then sometimes they achieve what they want sometimes they don't um does it take a toll on you as mm. a doctor well it does no so i'm a relatively young practitioner mm -hmm. so i've only been do doing this for about six years so it's a ride it's an, and it's an emotional roller coaster for us as well there are <laughs> patients uh you get uh invested in their story. Mm -hmm. we, we take the history so we know what they're going through. And we pray a lot, no? My children and I, we pray for our patients, for my patients. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, so there are those who, you know, invested a lot, the mm -hmm. hopes of getting pregnant. So mm -hmm. IVF is not cheap. No? You'll hear about uh, couples uh, saving, uh, spending the money that they saved for very important family stuff. but. Because uh, having a complete family or having a child is important to them, they will shift their... And yet, there is no guarantee. We cannot guarantee. Yeah. And that's something that uh, I discuss with patients thoroughly. You know? We have to set expectations. Mm -hmm. I can't uh, afford a patient who, who's hoping 80% or 90% chance of pregnancy. We can't guarantee that. Or yeah. I never claimed to say na I'm going to get you that one baby. Yeah. It's uh that's right. Cannot be, okay? Mm. Because it doesn't happen, it will crash mm -hmm. both of you. So there's a lot of emotional investment, okay? So I, every time there's an HCG result I'm waiting for, that's a pregnancy test. Uh, okay. Hindi ko alam kung sino mas anxious, the patient or me. Or the doctor. <laughs> and then I have to discuss with the patient after that what went wrong if they're not pregnant. But of course, if they're pregnant, we're both very happy. Yeah. Yes. So you set the... It is a... Financially, uh, yeah. you a big, uh, yes. Yeah. Big, uh, it's an investment. It's an investment. Emotionally and psychologically, your mm -hmm. patients have to be prepared to, okay? Mm -hmm. To accept the outcome. That's no? right. So, yes, I've cried a few times. Uh, <laughs> not so much anymore. <laughs> I'm a bit older, but uh, 
Yes, uh, invested, yes. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel, Doc, that uh, the attitude of the patient plays a role in the success of, of their conceiving? I think it helps, mm. a positive outlook. Mm. Uh, the truth is, of course, I root more for um. those who are parang mabayat. Siyempre, sana mabukas talaga to. Sana, sana, sana. But, uh, the attitude, a lot of factors there, no? But, mm. uh, it helps with the, with the process. Right. It helps with the process. It's a long process. So, the outcome, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. it definitely helps with the process. I can see how easy it is for people to fall into depression during this parang time of roller coaster, right? Yes, no? yes. Okay. And having said that, um, some people become, hindi naman siguro laging desperate, but very anxious. So, they resort to doing all these superstitions, no? <laughs> so, merong mga sumasayaw sa ubando, merong mga may inaalay. What is your take on that? I have no problems with that, no? No <laughs> harm, no, no harm there, I think. Okay. Uh, Whatever okay. makes them more positive, I yes. guess. The truth is, no, there are uh, some patients that uh, we've done IVF on, mm -hmm. they get pregnant on their own after. Not successful, and then maybe after a few months, or, there are a lot of stories like that. No? Uh, of course, we do IVF when we think it's indicated. Yes. But at the point, no, they get pregnant on their own. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, we try our best to offer treatment that is uh, warranted mm -hmm. and that we think is uh, necessary at that point. But in the end, no, it's not up to us really. It's yes. <laughs> and I tell them, uh, you know, you have to keep the faith. Mm -hmm. uh, just try until kaya. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are a lot of stories: patients getting pregnant after treatment, and you know, it's in the end, it's really mm -hmm. one from above. So that's mm -hmm. why I think prayers are important. Nakakakita pa naman kayo doc ng mga forty something years old na successfully get pregnant? Oh, naman. The okay. first few years of my practice, my first few patients were all older. Because you have to understand, they're the ones who generally can afford it. Yes. And at, it is at yes. that point when they think it's already their last uh, oh, chance. Last chance. Oh, it's right. their only hope. But, yeah. mm -hmm. So, but now I think IVF is uh, gaining more popularity. It's uh, something more acceptable mm -hmm. uh, socially. People are more aware. That's so people right. come see us sooner. That's perfect. So yeah. they also know that the services are available locally. Mm -hmm. It is comparable to worldwide statistics. Which is and great yeah. news. It is, it is. And even the price, no? Ah. It is relatively, I think, affordable here in the Philippines. Right. So Kesa mag abroad pa sila. And the family support is important too. Agree. No? Agree. Kesa pupunta sila sa ibang bansa, dalawa lang sila. Tapos oh, babalik oh. siya doon for a transfer, mag-isa lang siya. Oh, oh. So, oh nga, no? that's a very good point. Or having to live away no? for about three months. I mean, right, not a lot sure. of people cannot afford that. Oh, oh, um, oh, so, oh. And then parang you're emotional pa, it's, it's not exactly a great time. <laughs> so um, finally, Doc, is uh, what piece of advice can you give to our viewers? Oh, I think um, there are a lot of doctors here locally available to who can see you and advise you well regarding fertility. There are fertility doctors in the Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, reproductive endocrinologists or reproductive medicine specialists. So if you've been trying for more than a year, mm -hmm. you're less than 35 years old, no? or if you are 35 years old and above, or with other um, uh, infertility uh, risk factors, so then you see a reproductive doctor earlier. We may be able to help you. The sooner that you come see us, maybe the better. Like we said earlier, age is a, a significant factor, the age of the lady. Mm. Uh, so that we can advise you regarding appropriate treatment. Mm. So the sooner, the better. Thank you, Doc. Thank you.